Kingroon KP5 Series 3D printers are newly released. Here is the KP5L model. It has a print volume of 300 by 300 by 340 millimeters. Today we will do an unboxing video for it. As you see, KP5L is well sealed. A user manual is on the top. We suggest reading it before the go ahead. Everything is covered by a big foam. And the foam is fixed by four holders. Let's take them out and see what's inside. So everything in the box is fixed tight and well. It even takes you some tricks to remove the foam. The foams are thick and holding components tight. The foam I'm taking out protects the printer head. It also fixes the printer's gantry. Another foam on the corner. KP5 Series 3D printers use a tempered glass build plate. There's a huge foam beneath it. The build plate itself is tied quite well. The accessory box. Some test filament. We recommend buying some extra filament at first. And finally, the printer. It is solid and well tied. The Z axis frame is connected to the base by screws. That avoids frictions. Alright, let's settle everything and go ahead. So there's nothing left but a thick foam base. Let's start with the tempered glass build plate. A lot of plastic wraps to remove. It's 300 by 300 millimeters. Actually, it's harder than the normal glass build plate. A protective film on its top. Next, let's see what is inside the accessory box. A bag with some accessories. Power cable. Winding displacement. Screen. Filament holder. Let's see what's inside the bag. A PTFE tube. A USB cable. A pliers. Some wrenches. Another wrench. It's for nozzle replacing. Some needles. Let's take it out. You can use it to fix the clogged nozzles. Some M5 by 10 screws. Some M5 by 35 screws. Some heat bed clips. An SD card reader with an SD card in it. It's an 8G SD card. Some ties. Let's go ahead. Remove the plastic wrap. Turn the printer over. Lean it on the desk. Loose the four screws on the base. Don't remove the screws until you have the gantry held. Hold the gantry and remove the screws. Separate the base and turn it over. Here is it, the metal printer base. It looks quite solid and high quality. Take out the foams under the heat bed. They prevent the heat bed from moving. Turn the base 90 degrees and hold it. Put the Z-axis gantry against it. Alignment the screw holes. Use M5 by 35 screws. Tight the screws, the gantry will be fixed. Go to the front left corner. Tear the tape apart. Settle the rest cables and find the Z-motor cable. 
connect it to the Z motor. The cable has a Z label on it. Connect another cable to the limit switch port. Go to the back left corner, take the heat bed cable out. Connect it to the heat bed port. Make sure you connect them tight. Go to the back right corner, tear apart the tape. Find the Y motor cable with a small connector. Connect it to the Y motor port, the small one. Connect the bigger one to another port. Make sure they are connected well. Go to the front right corner, find another Z motor cable. There's a label on it. Connect it to the Z motor port. Tear apart the bubble wrap, take out the screen. Push the clips out. Keep the blue side up and insert the screen cable. Then push the clips back to fix the cable. Use the M5 by 10 screws. Tight them to fix the screen. Put the tempered glass build plate on the heat bed. Tear apart the protective film. Use the heat bed clips to fix it. Connect the winding displacement. Take out the filament holder and settle the filament. Insert the filament into the sensor, the PTFE tube, then the extruder. Cut the ties to release the printer head and the heat bed. Connect the power cable, then connect it to a power source. Turn the printer on. You are all set. Thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing.